Here's an example of sources for an extended response that can really worry students. One, two, three, four, five, six sources described as sources F to K, all of which relate to a topic in history, in this case the fall of the Berlin Wall. Some are written, some are images, some are perspectives of people at the time, primary sources, others are secondary sources. Rather than seeing this as, a, as threatening, see this as an opportunity. You're, the idea is you draw on a range of the sources in order to respond to the question. The question in this case is draw on these sources and your own knowledge to evaluate the significance of the fall of the Berlin Wall. Here is that moment, November the 9th, 1989, when the wall fell. And the image makes it clear that people are celebrating. They're on top of the wall, which has divided their city for so long. We have the date here, the actual day of the collapse of the Berlin Wall. Um, and we know where it is because it says in the caption, the Berlin Wall at Brandenburg Gate. OK, in the first source where the date is taking us further back, 1987, we're going nearly two years earlier in history to uh, Ronald Reagan's famous speech of tear down this wall. So this source we can put in a category of Ronald Reagan being the origin. He's a participant in the Cold War. He's trying to encourage or trying to force the Soviet Union into changing its policy and tear down the wall. And he's saying this while the wall is still standing. Here we have evidence of the wall coming down. Next, we have Margaret Thatcher as the origin here. She is the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, another cold warrior, another person trying to convince the Soviet Union to tear down the wall. And she's holding a media conference in London the day after the fall of the wall in order to make some remarks about its significance. These two sources are both presenting primary source material from players in the Cold War. So don't use them as mere observations about what is happening there. Use them as sources of influence on what happened. When we come over to the other page, we have secondary sources. November 2009, this date is not necessarily all that significant. But it's a reflection, significant, it's a reflection on the fall of the Berlin Wall. And it's arguing that over on the other side from these two sources in Russia, the fall of the Berlin Wall was not big news. And then gives more reasons. You'll look at that language more carefully when you read it. Um, the next source, a secondary source again in 2009, again on the 20th anniversary of the fall of the Berlin, Berlin Wall, we have a reflection that all of these leaders, including Reagan, including Thatcher, their entire worldview was framed by the Cold War and the separation of Europe into the two blocks, uh, the Eastern Bloc and the Western Bloc. And finally, we have an Australian perspective on this in 2014. This is 25 years after the fall of the Berlin Wall. Uh, reflecting on his experience as a reporter as the, as the wall fell. And um, we have reflections here on Mr. Gorbachev's role on, as the Soviet leader at the time, who is very much hands off and allowing the Eastern Bloc countries, in a sense, their, their leaders to, to crumble without any support from the Soviet Union. So our first job here will be to decide origin and date of each of the sources. We have primary sources on one side, secondary sources on the other side. It may or may not be significant to talk about the 20th anniversary of the fall of the Berlin Wall. There's a lot of hindsight there. It may or may not be significant to talk about the 25th anniversary, but you'll get a different perspective clearly on the significance of the event from the time and 20 years after and 25 years after. We could put those therefore into groups when we go to write about the significance of the fall of the Berlin Wall.